now it's time to load your film into your camera. This part isn't hard, but it takes a little bit to get used to loading it. Um, like I said, you really want to hang on to your film spool. Put one end in, and then with your other finger, hold, push this piece back, and then with this other side, you're just going to push the film in. But you just then just slowly. slide that film in just like that and then you just take your spool and you just pull it over like so and then you want to make sure you still hold put tension onto that film and then you want to put your take up spool it has to be that metal take up spool, it can't be the plastic one from the film. It's got to be the metal one that came with uh, your camera, okay? Um, most people go on eBay or something and buy like a bunch of these. So in case they want to shoot a few rolls of uh, on their camera. So it's got to be this, this metal uh, 620 film one that comes with the camera. Put that piece in. Let's just find a sprocket hole here. There we go. Alright, so then as you're putting tension on the film here, you just put your Leader section in there. Like so. Okay, so I trimmed the leader a little bit more so it would fit into this a little bit better. I noticed that once I put the film into the back here, it really doesn't go anywhere. But you want to really do your best to just kind of give it a little tension just in case uh, you drop the camera or something. But um, pull your film up a little bit more so that once you stick this into the leader and spin and you put pressure on this as you rotate your film through that actually this has some tension so that this actually rotates through so like I said you just put some tension on there and then now your film should be caught and then this isn't going anywhere and what you're gonna do now Let's just close your camera up and then you'll see your uh, this little red dot here. You just roll. Just keep rotating it until you see your first frame. Just be careful for um, once you see the Kodak logo or whatever there you'll see this little line these two that's actually frame one so you can look into there one thing I love about this camera is just great viewfinder oh my and take first frame and then just rotate it through and then take a 
another frame, rotate, there's three, rotate. I found that once you get to frame seven, your roller gets a little tight. So, it's not hurting the camera at all. So don't be afraid to just keep putting a little bit more tension once you get to like frame 9, 10, 11, and 12. Disappointing thing about this camera to me is that it doesn't do good double exposure because um, there's no real way of um, advancing the camera and then shooting on the same roll. So you rotate through until this red area becomes black, but don't open the camera back yet um, because that doesn't mean that it's done. There's a little bit, probably like maybe five inches worth of um, take up uh, paper that you need to have to go through but what you do is just you do your best you just roll that through and then you'll feel it come loose if if it's really tight and you can't get it to go any further you can just open the back up a little bit and then rotate that through until the film comes out, seal, show you. seal this up, then this is ready to go to the lab, but make sure when you drop this off to the lab that you ask for this metal spool back so that you can use it again for your next roll. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email at ole at photolayphotography.com. Thanks for watching.